Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use track faders to control synth parameters in Reaper. I have a project set up here where I've already put a synth on a track. And it sounds like this. It's a pretty basic pad or synth, but I want to control the parameters of it using faders or Reaper's faders. And luckily, we can do that. Now, the synth I'm using is called Serum, but this is going to work with just about any synth you choose. And we can control any parameter we want. But let's keep it simple for now. I'm going to start off with the cutoff right here, which controls the cutoff frequency in our filter. So it sounds like this. But like I said, I want to use a fader or a Reaper fader to control it. So let's start off by making a new track. And we'll name it Cutoff. Then I'm going to turn the volume all the way down. And you'll see why in a bit. Then we're going to put a plugin on the track effects. Let's search Tone. And we'll choose the plugin right here called Tone Generator, which is going to generate a sine wave, which we could use to trigger our parameters. And we don't hear it now because we pulled down our fader. But now we want to send this tone to our synth. So let's create a send by grabbing the routing and dragging it and dropping it on the synth track. Now by default, it's going to send audio from 1 and 2 to 1 and 2 on the synth track. We don't want that. We want to create a sidechain using separate channels. And we could do that by readjusting the send to go from 1 and 2 to 3 and 4, which is not set up already, but we can create them. Go to New Channels on Receiving Track and add 3 and 4. So now it's sending from 1 and 2 to 3 and 4. Let's turn off the MIDI. We don't need that. So now let's go to this track and go to the routing and turn off the master parent send. So when we bring up the fader on this track, we're not going to hear it. But it's still sending from this track to our synth, as we can see right here. And we can adjust it with the fader. So we're going to use that test tone to trigger our parameter. So now we'll go to the plugin and just touch the parameter we want to control, which is cut off, and go to the parameter menu and choose Parameter Modulation MIDI Link. And that opens up this dialog, where we can choose the audio control signal or sidechain to trigger this function. So if we turn it on and change track audio channel to be the input we set up, which is three and four, we see our test tone come through here. And let's just change the minimum volume to give us more play to work with. It'll be more sensitive. So now if we move the fader on this track, it's going to affect what's sent over here to a cutoff. Bring it up or down. And we can hear it. So now this fader on this track is controlling the cutoff or the cutoff frequency on our synth. Let's try another. But instead of starting over, let's just duplicate this track. Right click, duplicate tracks, change the name of it to be res or the resonance on the synth, because we're going to control this one right here, resonance. So we'll readjust our send on this track to go to different inputs right here. Instead of three and four, let's create 
5 and 6. So it'll separate what's being sent. And now this fader is going to 5 and 6 on this track. Then we'll go over here and touch the resonance as the last touched parameter and turn on parameter modulation MIDI link. And again, we'll turn on audio control signal sidechain. We'll set this up to be 5 and 6. Adjust the minimum volume. And now we can control the resonance with this fader. As we move it, we'll see it moving over here. Pretty cool. Now let's set up one more. Again, we'll duplicate this track. Let's name it Pan, because we're going to control this parameter over here, Pan. We'll readjust the send to be sending to 7 and 8. We'll touch this parameter, parameter modulation, MIDI link, and turn on audio control signal or the sidechain. And we'll choose 7 and 8 and readjust this parameter. So now we can control the pan from this fader. And to make this easier to see or work with, we can use the mixer. And now all the parameters show up right here. Here's our synth, but here are the parameters we could work with. We could also automate any changes we want to make. So we could select all three of these tracks, right click over here, and switch it to touch mode. And simply write our changes. And it's going to record and play back any automation we write. Now you're probably thinking, this is a lot to set up, but we could save it all with track templates. Let's close all this and just right click on these three tracks and save the tracks as a track template. It's going to save in our track templates folder. Just give it a name, synth and parameters, and we want to use it in a new project or an existing project, just right click, insert track from template, and choose it. It all comes back ready to be used. So that's pretty much it. That's how to use track faders to control synth parameters in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Oh!